Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to um, update this profit and loss statement, also called an income statement. It is designed to where you can easily enter in your transaction, so that'd be your invoices or any money you receive, and it will automatically update this. Right here is your category, so you can see right here I have sales. Right there, sales. Let's say, I don't know, interest income. Right, that's interest income. Let's say those are the only two. So I'm going to go ahead, highlight those, right click, <clears throat> and do delete. That's going to continue to update that. So it's going to continue to keep the formula in there. And over here, I have my month, and there's my total. Let's update some expense categories, and then I will show you how it works when you enter in the transactions. Rent, utilities, and payroll, just to keep it simple. Delete the rest of these. Works the same way. Highlight them, right click, select delete. Okay. Let's use I don't know, three, ten. Next, by new year, you can fill in the customer vendor if you want to. I'm just going to say rent company amount. Then I'm going to go here, type in rent. I could have also typed it in like there if that was utilities, but here, rent. You can see that it automatically populates in March. If I was doing this for January, and once again, it's Completely unnecessary to fill this in. This is just kind of for your records because you can filter it if you want to after you have a whole bunch of data in there if you're looking for it. You can also filter over here too. There you go. Let's enter in. We'll just say this is from customer. Back over here, you can see right there how that's filled in. Being lazy and not recopying those, but that's okay. Utility company. All right, well, that's pretty much how this works. You just keep entering stuff into your um, income statement and into this transaction tab and your income statement, profit and loss statement will automatically update. And then you can see here that's populating you for the year. The nice thing about this is if you want to roll it over for next year, you know, you don't have to buy a completely new one. You go up here to make that a five. We go here, make that a five, and it automatically updates. This all went away since all these transactions we have are for 2024, but... there how it automatically populated. It's pretty much how it works. All right. Thanks. Have a great day.